The very birthplace of railway restoration is here at Tawin. The starting point of the seven and a half mile long, two feet three inch gauge Calaflin Railway. As with the majority of Welsh narrow gauge railways, the original building of the Talichlin in April 1864 was to convey slate from the quarries high up in the valley to the mainline railway at Tawin. As the slate industry fell into decline, Sir Henry Hayden Jones, the then owner of the line, was determined to keep the railway open. Eventually, in 1950, LTC Rolt founded the Talichlin Railway Preservation Society dedicated to keeping this narrow gauge line running. Modern day traffic on the line, however, consists of visitors only. This morning's first train is to be headed by number four, an 042 locomotive built by Kerr Stewart and Company Limited of Stoke-on-Trent in 1921. On this occasion, bearing the livery of one of the famous Thomas the Tank Engine characters, Peter Sam. Number four spent the beginning of its working life on the Corris Railway. Following the railway's closure, the locomotive was bought by the Talich Lynn in 1951. Six and a half miles further up the valley, Peter Sam arrives at Abergenolwyn station. The station has undergone many modifications and alterations throughout the life of the railway and now boasts what's thought to be the longest narrow gauge platform in Britain at 620 feet. A passing loop and signal box have also been installed. ledge above the valley floor as it heads for the new upper terminus at Nant Gwernol. Until 1976, all trains terminated at Abergenolwyn. 
However, on the 22nd of May that year, the line, after much hard work, was extended over the original slate traffic line to Nant Gwernol. There is no road access to the station, and the many walkers wishing to enjoy the widespreading forest trails that start from this point use the railway for access. After running round its train, Peter Sam departs once more for Tawin. Perhaps one of the most photographed stations on the entire line is here at Dolgoch. Locomotive number one, Talechlin, built in 1864 by Fletcher Jennings and Company of Whitehaven, arrives at the station, passing the original old wood and slate water tower. A new steel water tower is used today to replenish the locomotive's tanks before it heads off up the line. The locomotive Talechlin led a good working life on the railway until 1945, by which time it had fallen into disrepair with a cracked steam chest. Over the next 30 years, the locomotive underwent extensive modification to produce the hard-working and reliable engine we see today, arriving at Abergenol wind station from Nant Gwernol. At Brindglas, the signalman calls Peter Sam forward into the passing loop whilst awaiting the arrival of Talech Lin, returning to Tawin.
Peter Sam is cleared on his way to Nant Gwernol.